Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome to Your Daily Manna on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, the voice of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. It is Monday, April 29th, 2024. This is Pastor Vince. Thank you so much for waking up this early Monday morning with me. I know many of us dread Mondays. It's back to work. It's back to school, whatever. But we just, you know, we thank God for even just waking us up this morning that we could, you know, he could start us on our way. We're in our right minds. We have another opportunity to earn a living for for ourselves, for our families, to make things right with him, to be, uh, you know, to be more prepared for when Jesus comes back. So, yes, we look at another day above ground as a blessing. Amen. And I hope you got some rest this weekend. I hope you got some things done. Hope, you know, um, I'm always busy. I'm busy seven days a week. And like you, I work a regular job Monday through Friday. I have a regular nine to five job that I work. And then I do more ministry on the weekends, it seems, than I do during the week. But then again, ministry for me is 24-7, 365. Even though I work a regular nine to five job, my ministry does not stop. For some people, if they work a regular job, they only do ministry on the weekends, you know, it's more of a part-time thing for them. No, I give full-time energy to this ministry. I figure if I can give my secular job all the energy, 40 hours a week, I can give the Lord's work that much energy and more. So I feel like I work more than 40 hours a week toward the ministry, but nonetheless, I got some rest, but the work continues. Today, we are still in Daniel chapter 7. We started reading Daniel chapter 7 the other day as we've begun this new lesson study called The Prophecy of Daniel 7. So to lay the foundation, we've been reading through Daniel chapter 7. Yesterday, uh, I should say Sabbath morning, that was the last time we were together. Um, and, and it wasn't even Sabbath morning, it was uh, well, you know, we would say Friday evening, but it was still the Sabbath, the start of the Sabbath. It was the Sabbath edition of your daily manna, which was in essence Friday evening, whatever you want to say. The last time we were together, we looked at Daniel 7 verses 1 through 10. Today we're going to continue reading through Daniel 7. We're going to pick up at verse 11 and we're going to read up into verse 20. So today we're going to read Daniel 7 verses 11 through 20. If you've got your Bible in front of you, please open up to Daniel chapter 7, and we're going to start at Daniel chapter 7, verse 11. My reading and your hearing. The Word of God says, and I'm reading from the New King James Version of the Bible, the Word of God says in verse 11, I I watched then because of the sound of the pompous words which the horn was speaking. I watched till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. Verse 12. As for the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I was watching in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven, he came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a a kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. Verse 13, sorry, verse 15. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit within my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near to one of those who stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made known to me the interpretation of these things. Verse 17. Those great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Verse 19. Then I wished to know the truth about the fourth beast, which was different from all the others, exceedingly dreadful, with its teeth of iron and its nails of bronze, which devoured, broke in pieces, and trampled the residue with his feet. And verse 20, And the ten horns that were on its head, and the other horn which came up, before which three fell, namely, that horn which had eyes and a mouth which spoke pompous words, 
whose appearance was greater than his fellows. We have just read Daniel chapter 7, verses 11 through 20. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Tomorrow, Tuesday, when we uh, come back, we will pick up and looks like we will read the rest of Daniel chapter 7 because tomorrow we will pick up at verse 21 and we will finish up at verse 28. So tomorrow we will read Daniel 7 verses 21 through 28 to finish up reading Daniel chapter 7 in our Bibles. And let me just let you know before I forget that starting this Wednesday, May 1st through Sabbath, May 4th, we will not meet for your daily manna. I will be out of town, so we will not be spending time together during your daily manna. But next week, we will come back on Monday, May 6th, because we're off on Sundays anyway. We will come back on Monday, May 6th, and we will get into the actual lesson. Because like I said, tomorrow, we'll finish up reading Daniel chapter 7. We'll be off Wednesday through Sabbath. We'll come back Monday, May 6th, and get into the actual lesson material Once again, it's called The Prophecy of Daniel 7. So until we meet again tomorrow for Tuesday morning, have a a great Monday, have a blessed Monday, and may the Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me for Your Daily Manna here on the podcast. This is Pastor Vince. Be blessed.